So in this video, I want to talk about watch winders, and specifically, I want to talk about Duckwin watch winders. Duckwin was were kind enough to send me one of their single watch winders for me to check out and to give my honest opinion on. And I let's go to the other room and unbox it and check it out for the first time. So if you're interested in buying one of these Duckwin winders, I actually have a coupon code. Using the link in the description, use coupon code TTK5 to get 5% off. So in this video, I'm going to check out this Duckwin watch winder that Duckwin was uh, kind enough to send me to check out and make a video on. I would like to say that this is like a, a, a an excellent option if you're looking for a single watch winder with good uh, good quality single watch winder that does, you know that won't necessarily break the bank because obviously watch winders can go up to very expensive like Wolf uh, watch winders. In fact, I have a Wolf one and I'll kind of show I'll kind of compare it next to my watch, Wolf winder afterward later in the video, but for now, let's get this thing open and see what's in the box. So it's a nice packaging here. Um, so nice cleaning cloth, bit of an instruction manual here that you can, uh, shows you, gives you information about turns per day, which I believe this can do uh, six, uh, so for between 650 and 1950 turns per day, 650. Personally, you wanna you just you wanna turn the watch as much as it need, only what it needs to be turned to in order to keep it running. So if 650 will do it, you should probably stick with the lowest amount. And uh, yeah, so it has different languages here. Power cable here, the USB to like a DC barrel port. Use the AC adapter for the for the USB plug, of course. Everybody has these. And this cable is uh, for you if you if you happen to buy another one of these. Let's say you want to get another one, you can actually power daisy chain the watt the winder and power another one well, using this cable link cable here. You could say. But let's check out the winder itself. Let's pull it out of the box again. Pretty good packaging here. Nice, everything feels nice and secure. So let's check out the winder itself. It's got. Looks like it has a nice like faux leather finishing, almost like a either like a brushed metal finish in the front here, um, and but nice faux leather finishing here. Some like rubber feet, so you know it doesn't easily slide around. It's got some decent weight to it. You can feel that there's definitely a, a decent motor in here that's powering this thing. And back here, you can again you can power it. You can also if you don't want to plug it in or you don't have power nearby, you can actually plug. Uh, you can use two double A's to power it. So this allows you to set the turns per day. I believe that you can go from 650 all the way to 1950 turns per day. And the left knob here uh, allows you to select the uh, the fixed winding mode. So you can do uh, you can do clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, and counterclockwise in fixed winding mode. Some automatic watches only wind in one direction. Most modern ones wind in both directions. So one thing to note is that when you have it in bi-directional mode, so the one where it's counter, uh, that is, uh, that goes in both, that is bi-directional, in other words, counterclockwise and clockwise, it'll actually double the amount of, double the count. So it'll actually double the count. So if you have it set to 650, it'll do 15, 30, it'll do 1,300 turns. And if you have it, if you have it in bi-directional mode and you have it set all the way to the top, we're talking close to, to 4,000 turns, which is a lot of turns. So you'd be mindful of that. So if you want to actually only get 650 turns, you're going to want to have to choose the direction that you watch. If it only if it only winds uh, clockwise, then use the clockwise and set it to 650. And if it's only counterclockwise, then do the same thing. So just keep keep that in mind. You don't want to overwind your watch if you can help it. A lot of automatic watches are you know can't be over you know they have a uh, they have protections built into the to the to the winding works, which don't allow them to be overwind. But you never know. It's just best not to overwind them, in my opinion, my my in practice. You open it very simply. You just turn it, and this the little uh, little glass or plastic plexiglass comes off, as you can see. And this is actually feels like it's made of. It is made of metal, which is a nice touch. So this this cover is made of metal, and you pull the little cushion out by just pulling it like that. So I'm gonna plug this thing in and uh, I'm gonna put a watch in it and see how it does. All right, so I'm gonna put the barrel plug in here. So 
So yeah, as you can see, this one says out. If you look, if you look closely, it'll actually, it says out here. So it's the left one looking at from this vantage point. It's the left one that actually powers it. This is the in. All right. Ah, it's already turning. Wow, it's very quiet. Very quiet. But if you actually want to turn it off, you set it to the off, uh, off position and it should stop turning and it did. Okay, so I'm gonna put a watch in it and see how it does. Super easy to put in a, put the watch in. I'm just using one of my Seiko's here to demonstrate. Just stra strap it down. So you're gonna put the watch in by here. As you can see, there's a couple of like channels here. I don't know if you can see that, maybe there. You're just gonna match it with the, uh, there's like a couple like ball bearings here or little pieces of metal that probably, that go into those channels and sort of get into place. I, I think I like this system more than my Wolf Winder, to be honest. It just feels a little more sturdy and just like it's more secure. And now, if you want, you don't necessarily have to do this, but you know, why not? All you have to do is... So now just, uh, now you just tighten this thing back on if you don't want it nice and secure. And I'm going to set it to I'm gonna do by two directions. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It's like turning right now. Very smooth, I can barely, I can hear it. Wow. Wow, that is very quiet and smooth, I have to admit. Can't hear anything. So, wow, overall I'm very impressed with this winder. And if you're in the, if you're in the market for uh, a winder for your watch. Uh, I would talk. I, I would honestly. I can. I can. I can easily recommend this Duckwind winder um, for your for your automatic watch. So this is my Wolf winder. Uh, this is this winder I bought. I'm uh, gonna say close to two years ago. Been using it. Uh, it's a quality winder. But it's, it's hard for me to recommend a winder like this if you're, you're sort of just getting into the hobby or you don't have a lot of disposable income because these are extremely expensive. I believe this one is going for over $4,000. I got mine on, on special, so I didn't, I didn't pay that much, but it was not cheap. Let me, I can guarantee you that it was not cheap. But it's very easy for me to recommend a Duckwind winder like this one. As you can see, uh, if you're getting into the hobby or you only need to wind one, one watch, or you, let's say you have a, a, a slight, a smaller collection of like two or three automatic watches. You want to have, you want to keep them going all the time. You can, you can maybe buy one or one or two of these. You can daisy chain them together and keep them and keep them going. Um, it's kind of important, just like here. Um, again, these are easy to use. All the controls are in the back, but they're pretty straightforward. There's a really good instruction manual. The, the the controls for the uh, for my wolf winder are in the front here and it does give you a display and you can actually adjust the the amount of wines that you want to give your watches in the front here with the lcd display here which is a plus but again this is you know this is at a very different price point this winder the duck one winder is about a hundred dollars or so so again it's very easy for me to recommend it giving the price and as you can see it's just as smooth very easy to use. You can set it to wind as little as 650 wines. Uh, the minimum I can do for the Wolf is 300 wines. If you do, uh, if you do one direction, bi-directionally, you can do as little as 600 wines for this uh, with the with the Wolf Winder. With the Duck Wind, you can do as little as 650 and all the way up to 650 one uh, at either counterclockwise or clockwise, or you can do up to almost 4,000 if you do bi bi-directionally, and anywhere in between there. So remember, you got to remember that when you select two bi-directional winding, that means counterclockwise and clockwise. Again, it's in the instruction manual. Uh, it, it doubles the, the number. So it's, if you set it to 650, it's going to do 1,300. If you set it to 1,950, it's going to do almost 4,000 turns. So you just got to uh, you you just got to dial it in, see how many winds it actually takes to keep your watch going, and that's what that's what I would recommend. Winders get way more expensive even from this from this Wolf one, but it's a look at a very at a very good quality high end product and a more modest one than the Duck one, but f easy to recommend and very good quality. 
uh, winder and I'm very impressed with it and I'm actually going to keep it right here next to my wolf winder here and keep it on display and maybe I'll keep my, as you can see I got my Omega in there right now. But yeah, that's a look at the uh, Duckwind single winder. I think it's a great, it's a great product. I want to give my final thoughts on the Duckwind watch winder, which I have. And I have to say that I came out very impressed with this winder. Uh, for most people, you don't need a multiple watch winder like I have that costs multiple thousands of dollars. This is a very solidly built watch winder that costs $80. A very small fraction of what I spent on my winder. If I could go back, I would just buy a couple of these guys for 80 bucks and just call it a day and save, you know, save the money, maybe even buy another watch because I, I came out very impressed. The, the, motors, the motor operation is very smooth. The controls are very clear and very easy to use. I love the, 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 the cushion mechanism to actually put your watch inside of the, uh, of the winder. I like that a lot. I love the construction and it, it integrates a little bit of this faux leather with metal in the back. You, have the op you also have the option for uh, running it on battery if you don't have power close to your, to your winder. You can also like daisy chain two, two or three winders together if you want to and power them off of one AC adapter or one USB adapter. So overall, I came out very impressed with the Duckwind winders. And uh, if you're in the market for a single or even multiple winder set, I can very easily recommend them. For most people, all you need is one, maybe two of them, and you're good to go. So if you're interested in buying one of these Duckwind winders, I actually have a coupon coded using the link in the description. Use coupon code TTK5 to get 5% off. So if you have any questions about the Duckwind winder, feel free to leave them in the comments. It really helps the channel a lot if you can like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.